Hello, this is Rabbi Tuvia Bolton with a two to three minute message from me to you about what to do when bombs and missiles are raining down on your head from heaven. Yes, here in the Holy Land, our Arab cousins have been shooting missiles of all shapes and sizes for the last four days, approximately 200 of them, with the intention to damage as many Jews as possible. And miraculously, with the open hand of God, we've been protected and not even one Jew has been injured by these missiles. There's been a lot of them that have been injured by fear. And the Lubavitcher Rebbe said you should realize and remember that land of Israel is the safest place in the world for Jews to be. But still, how can we be happy in such an oppressive situation? Well, the answer can be drawn from the previous Lubavitcher Rebbe, Rabbi Yosef Yitzchak Schneerson, that he was in a situation that was thousands of times more oppressive and dangerous than the one we're in now. On this day, in 1927, the previous Lubavitcher Rebbe was released miraculously from prison where he was sentenced to death for thinking, doing, and speaking against the communist government. Stalin had killed over 20 million of his own people for the same crime. The joke is told that a communist policeman stopped someone in the street, asked him for a cigarette, started befriending him, and said to him, tell me, my friend, between me and you, what do you think about Stalin? The person said, what do I think about Stalin? The same thing as you do. He said, oh, yeah? Then you're arrested. You're under arrest. The situation was so desperate and dangerous, a million times more than what we're experiencing now. And the previous Rebbe turned the whole thing around. In fact, the Rebbe said, the present Lubavitcher Rebbe, Rebbe, not Menachem Schneerson, said the reason that the Iron Curtain fell so miraculously in 1990 without even a drop of blood being spilled was because of what the previous Rebbe did back then. He put the first crack in the Iron Curtain. Hard to believe, but there is no other explanation. And that's what we can do. One good thought can change the whole entire world, can transform everything. And even if we think we don't deserve the blessing, but trusting in God makes a vessel for a new blessing to change the whole world. It makes no difference what was up to now. It doesn't make any difference who you were up to now. We can reveal everything that it says in the Aleinu prayer that every human being is precious in God's eyes. Every person is special and every second is a miracle. But it all depends on us to reveal it by thinking positively a little bit of light pushes away a lot of darkness. Be happy, and the world will become happy.